Hi everyone, uh, it's Ben here and welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, I am really really new to this. I have no idea whether I'm doing anything right at all. Um, and I didn't think that I'll be doing a YouTube video but I've talked to some friends and they have actually asked me, you know, why not start doing some videos um, posting things that I like or posting um, some tips and tricks um, that I have uh, and I thought, why not? Let's just uh, give it a try and please pardon me if I keep looking um, above as um, I'm looking at the flip screen of my camera so I am trying to see whether this actually looks okay. Okay, um, without further ado, you know, let's get to it. Let's start with skincare first. Um, I only have two products for skincare, and um, you may have seen me, you know, mention them in uh, my post before. I'm pretty sure they are not unfamiliar to you. Okay, the first item it is Mamon's. Um, Moisture Ceramide Sleeping Peeling Mask I have been really into sleeping mask and um, this uh, sleeping mask has been something that I've been using quite a bit recently I have only re received it last month but I've been using it non-stop almost every single day um, because this gives me really really soft and smooth skin when I wake up in the morning I sleep in aircon room so I really need something to help to you know put moisture back to my skin and this really really helps Mamon is a really inexpensive brand so I'm pretty sure you know if you're looking for a sleeping mask this is something that you can um, reach out for and don't be scared by the word peeling um, it doesn't really peel your skin off if that's something you're worried about um, it actually you know helps to peel off um, dead skin cells overnight so in the morning when you wash your face your skin will be left really soft and smooth so yeah that's my first skincare item and uh, okay the second one is actually um, the uh, Laneige uh, Clear C Peeling Mask uh, I am someone who do not like wash off mask as I find it really uh, troublesome. Uh, I'm someone who likes to you know just slap on a mask and you know like a sheet mask and just take it off and just pat in the moisture and call it a day um, but ever since I tried this um, peeling mask uh, it it has changed my mind about a wash off mask. Uh, what I usually do with this is I will clean my face, I'll cleanse it properly and um, dab it dry and then I will take you know a scoop of this um, peeling mask and apply it on my face and you know I'll rub it in it contains um, some very gentle exfoliants which will not um, harm your skin or irritate your skin and I have pretty sensitive skin and this has been working out for me so far I will usually um, you know rub it in exfoliate my skin and then leave it on for say about five minutes um, and then you know in the shower and then I will just rinse it off and I will be left with brighter skin super super smooth and um, you know no redness whatsoever um, versus some other masks with uh, you no know, light exfoliants inside they will actually uh, feel a bit irritating to my skin but not this and I have been really really enjoying it and you see how pretty the packaging is it's pink and you know I I secretly like anything okay maybe not 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 so much of a secret but I really like this and you know Laneige is a really really good brand and um, I have quite many skincare products from them uh, and if you are looking to do a you no know, wash off mask this is definitely something you can check it out let us move on to makeup I am definitely more of a makeup person um, versus a skincare person so I have quite a bit of makeup products I want to share with you things that I've been loving for um, the past couple of months yeah so um, the first makeup product is actually the cover FX um, mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment so um, I typically wear my makeup for about um, 14 to 15 hours a day as I work in an office job. So being able to keep my makeup fresh is really really important 
I have combination skin, my T-zone is really oily Well, my cheek um, and my forehead is slightly more dry So for this, I will just use a pea size and rub it you know, on my nose um, And my upper lip area and also my chin um, to make you know to make sure that these uh, places stay fresh and doesn't break apart throughout the day as the skin um, there is really oily and so far it has worked really really well for me um, it's pretty pricey for 30 ml it is about 50 dollars at sephora but i found that it really really works and you really need just a little bit every day so this lasts me uh, i think this will last me a pretty pretty long time um i highly recommend this for those you know those of you who have uh, oily skin or combination skin like me um, and you know you don't have to use much um, in fact the lesser you use the better just enough for your makeup to adhere better um, to your to your skin um, throughout the day yeah. okay. so um, for the second item I'm pretty sure you know all of you should be heard of it or may already own it it's the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer um, this has has become a beauty favorite um, by many YouTube gurus or you know vloggers, beauty vloggers, and I can totally see why. Um, I'm someone who is super fast free when it comes to concealers. I'm okay as long as you provide some coverage. You know, doesn't really crease on me. I'm not fussy about you know um, that you must have super super high coverage. And um, I was just curious, so when I picked this up, I didn't, you know, I knew it was going to be good but I didn't expect myself to fall in love with it so much. Um, I'm using the shade Light Neutral and um, it, it's a pretty good match for me. I'm actually using it um, right now and I have pretty bad dark circles so this really helps to cover it up um, and the coverage is really not bad. I just need a sponge um, to um, pat it into my skin and it is not too thick or heavy and I do like that it is not oily and the coverage is really quite good. Um, I will set it with translucent powder, sometimes I'll bake it um, and it lasts all day on me. I think I need to order another backup of this uh, before it runs out. So this has been my go-to concealer for the past couple of months ever since I've gotten it and yeah, it's really 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 good. Okay. So for the next item, um, it is the Laneige um, BB Cushion. Yeah. So I am using the Anti-Aging Cushion in shade 21 Beach. Um, so this is how it looks like. Yeah. And then you um, pop it open and it comes with a puff that you use and yeah. So uh, why do I like this so much? And this has been my go-to, especially on days that you know I don't want to mess with another brush or I don't want to use another sponge to put my foundation in. Is um and this has pretty good coverage. It I used to use the pore control one, but I found that um you know the pore control one may be a bit cakey sometimes throughout the day, especially for the newer version. Um, I have both the new version and old version. Um, so when Laneige, you know, very kindly sent me this, I was thinking anti aging for me. Um, maybe not, but I've tried it and I fell in love with it so hard. Um. I have stopped using the pore control one. I'm just only using the anti-aging one now. Um, and it gives a pretty natural uh, finish. It is not UV or not matte. Um, and it lasts pretty well throughout the day on my um, combination skin. Um, I have recommended this to some of my friends who are asking, you know, what Laneige BB Cushion to use. And so far, I think most of them like it as well. So if you're looking to try a new BB Cushion, you can definitely try this out. Um, I it comes with a refill, so I think that this is pretty worth it. Um, uh, you know, and it lasts pretty long amount of time. Uh, I use this weekly, definitely. You know, amongst my other foundation. So yes, this is definitely something. Um, you know, check out if you're keen in using a uh, baby cushion or trying out. A baby cushion. So um, another beauty um, favorite is this um, contour. Um, art class by Rodin um, Too Cool for School Contour um, I wouldn't call it a palette but it does come with um, three shades inside. let me just show you yeah. 
So there is the lightest and the medium and the darkest one. So what I usually do is I will just blend all three together and you know use it at the hollows of the cheeks, which I don't really have a hollow because my cheeks are thick. And then um, I'll use some on my chin. Uh, I have pretty bad double chin, as you can see. So I will just use this to help to make it less obvious. Um, I have not been a fan of contouring because I find it looking too harsh. Um, I know, you know, Western makeup focuses a lot on contour and this is not uh, something that I do um, so much but when I, you know, got this, Chuku for School One, which is a Korean brand um, and I decided, you know, try it out because some of the Korean YouTubers that I watch have said that this is really, really good and they swear by it and, you know, it looks really natural on the skin and I really agree. So if you're really fair, you can probably mix this too. Um, if you're like me, you know, like me, like to medium skin tone, you can mix all three and just use it anywhere. You know, um, I've heard that it's even good for nose, nose, nose contouring, which I don't do. So you can definitely check this out. Um, I do use Ula bronzer to do contouring as well, or Elf. Um, I think bronzing duo for contouring. But I find myself going back to this time and again and I've been using it for quite a few months now and it shows no sign of heating pen so um, I've also known some people who have actually heat pen on this you know, to show that this is really really good for Asian skin tone that's not too harsh um, or you just want some light contouring um, this is definitely something I recommend and it has been my favorite another product you may have seen me um, mention before on my dairy they are the Jewel highlighters um, so the Jewel Highlighters, it's a US brand. Um, I don't think you can find it directly in Singapore, but I do know that some online stores have actually brought it in due to demand. Um, I um, have two here that I would like to show you, and these two I've been using them you know, for a really, really long time. First one is um, Citrine, and the second one is, um, what you can see, Rose Quad. So um, these two highlighters have been my go-to. I'm actually using Rose Quad now. I'm not sure whether you can actually see it, but they are really, really blinding highlighters. You know, it's like a cream powder um, mix of a formula, and I really like it. Uh, it is really pigmented. So if you're not someone who likes um like wham bam um highlighter on your face, you may not like this. But I'm someone who likes obvious highlight so this you know has been my go-to i have to stop myself from using it so much so that i can use my other highlighters in my collection but the jewel highlighters are really top-notch quality you know um nothing to complain about you know it doesn't really emphasize texture it layers on nicely on top of powders and i think you can even use it if you have you know um a cream base um, that you don't really want to powder on you can definitely use this as well say you know if you're using a bb cushion you can definitely layer it on top um, of your uh, base citrine is more of a champagne champagne finish a champagne color and um, rose quartz is, has a pink tone silvery um, undertone to it which i think suits fair skin tones or even like medium skin tones like myself so yes citrine highlighters major love um, and worth checking out if you're able to get your hands on one um, yeah. so for the next uh, makeup product that i've been obsessed with it is the color pop eyeshadow this are freaking freaking amazing um i have been you know buying quite a bit of their pressed powder shadows um, I have the Super Shock Shadows, which is a cream powder um, eyeshadow pot. But I find myself reaching out for their um, powder shadows quite a lot. So I am now wearing Bell of the Ball um, eyeshadows, which is a pinkish tone, pinkish tone shadow um, eye look. So this is the um, Bell of the Ball eyeshadow. Um, they are super super pigmented um smooth um, they're not creamy i wouldn't say they're creamy but they're definitely really really smooth and um no the color payoff is amazing i can't stop using them um i have quite a few other palettes that i bought you know could be something that i came up with i even just got some eyeshadow um pick up some singles and 
pop them into one of the three palettes that they provided. Um, only thing I don't really like is how bulky their palette is. You can see that there's a lot of empty spaces here which are wasted. Um, so I you know, may one day consider popping all of them out. Moving on to the next um, makeup product, I have been really really obsessed with lip tint. I have been crazy about lip tint. I, I was a liquid lipstick girl. I have many, many liquid lipsticks. In fact, any brands, you know, which came out with liquid lipsticks, I would have bought some or, you know, those more, more popular brands. But um, for this year, I have been crazy over lip tint and it all started with the um, Laneige Serum Drop Tint has been my go-to um, since the start of the year. I've been using them like crazy and I am not even someone who likes lip tints that much from the start. But because of this, I am a convert, like major major convert. I love this so much. Mm. They smell like berries and really delicious. Um, they give my lips a really nice wash of colour but nothing too heavy, nothing too oily or glossy and you know it stains my lips a little. Um, so it's very fast free, I don't have to touch up, don't have to care you know whether something is out of my lip line and I've been using this so much until I decided that okay it's finally time for me to try other lip tints. Um, and so, um, I have been really, really liking the Mamond um, Highlight Lip Tint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this was also very, very kindly sent to me. Thank you, Mamon. And um, I have been using them quite a bit. Um, Mamon is only in Singapore for a little while. So when they sent this to me, I was really surprised because I didn't know they were in Singapore already back then. I When I was in Korea about a year and a half ago, um, I saw this but I didn't think much of it. And I know they are Park Shin Hye's favourite. So, you know, I cannot be like Park Shin Hye. Um, I will never attain that level. So I thought, you know, why not use um, the highlight lip tints and at least I can pretend to feel like her. Yeah, so I'm actually wearing one now. I think I'm wearing um, 06 Pin Spot, if I'm not wrong. Um, 06 Pin Spot, which is uh, Park Shin Hye's pick and also um, many people's favourite. So this is really nice as well. Um, and let me see what do they smell like. They have a pretty similar smell compared to the Serum uh, drop, drop Tint. A bit of fruity berry smell. This um, is a bit more matte finish and um, it doesn't dry out my skin and it's not transfer proof but it does feel you know pretty comfortable looking matte and not glossy and um, sometimes you know like today I applied it all over the lips even to the lip line so to use it like a regular lipstick of sorts. Yeah, so the highlight lip tints I've been using them like crazy. Um, I keep at least one of them in my bag. Yeah, that is how much I like this. Either this or the um, Laneige one that I mentioned previously, I will at least have one in my bag throughout the day when I decided that, okay, I don't want to wear whatever lipstick I'm wearing already. I want to use something that is fast free, something I don't have to, you know, check every other hour whether it is out of my lip line or whether I need to touch up. I will use this or the Laneige one. Um, and one more lip tint that I can't stop using since I bought it. It's the APU. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, please, uh, you know, um, pardon me if I'm wrong, it's A-P-E-I-U. So these are the um, water light tints. The packaging is pretty, quite pretty, you know, rainbow, rainbow shades and um, these have, you know, took dairy by storm and so many people have bought it. I actually got mine on Shopee. Um, it is um, a glossy water-based lip tint. Um, this melts into your um, skin really really nicely and it keeps your, your lips looking juicy and moist and um, nothing heavy as well. I, I do prefer lighter tints as I feel that you know the pur whole purpose of having lip tints is that you want something that's very fast free and you don't have to mess with or you don't have to get your lips to peel throughout the day. 
So um, I've been using this quite a bit. I have it in RD03. I think this has been compared to one of the YSL lip tints or lip gloss. Um, and it is a really, really nice shade and it smells like fruits also. So can you tell, I, I really like, um, you know, my lip piece to smell differently. And I have it in PR01 as well, um, which is a little bit like an orangey um, lip, lip colour. But when I apply it on the lips and I let it sit for a while and let it warm up and, you know, press my lips together, it will be a really nice reddish pinkish tint and um, nothing heavy um, you know keep my lips moist and um, nicely colored so you know I've been really crazy about this lip tint and the others that I've mentioned um, so I really didn't expect myself to really like lip tints but I've been using them so much and I've been keeping a lookout for newer lip tints or nicer lip tints that I surprised myself uh, all my um, liquid lipstick is, has been banished you know I say that they've been banished to um, the cold palace, you know, taru la gong. So um, I've been using lip tint so much. They are always sitting on my um, makeup table. I have them right in front of me, and I will usually pick one go if I can't decide uh, which lip tint I, uh, which lipstick I want to use for the day. Yeah. So um, aside from beauty favorites, I have some miscellaneous favorites um, that I would like to share with you that I've been loving. So the first one is a fashion item. It is a bag. It is a Charles and Keith bag that um, was gifted to me by Nigel. So um, this is how it looks like. It is just a very simple black bag with a long sling. Um, I've been using this a lot, um, especially to work because it matches with everything because it's black. And um, yeah. So it is pretty spacious, it looks small but it's pretty spacious with the zip in the front and there's a column at the back that's really useful because I like to put my um, work pass in here on my easily cut so I don't have to you know uh, fumble into my bag for it. Um, many people have asked me where I got my bag from, like folks stop me and actually say you know nice bag, where is it from? They're just telling me from Charles and Keith and um, I think someone has mentioned that it looks like a Givenchy bag, I think, I can't remember but it's not. I mean, I wish it is, but it's not. And um, but it's really nice and handy and good quality. I've been using it for a couple of months and it's still in really good condition. Um, I I really you know um, don't give chance to my bag. I stuff everything inside and abuse it like crazy. But it's still in very good condition. So I'm really surprised. Um, it's not cheap. I think it's about seventy dollars. I usually get my bags from Taobao. So this is like an upgrade for me. And I like it a lot. Um, yeah, so this is my one of my favorites, definitely. And it coming from Nigel just makes it more special. Yeah, so aside from the only fashion favorite I have, um, I will share more in the future, hopefully. But for now, I'll just share the bag. I have some music favorite, which is really random. Um, so the other day, I was on Instagram and I chanced upon a um, video by Nathan Hatono. <laughs> um, it's on his Instagram. Uh. So it's this um, song of this. I don't know what it's carry. Seems like everybody's breaking up. So basically, it's a song by um, Pussycat Dolls called Stick With You. I think it's from 2005. Wow, that is like really long time ago. And if you don't know me, um, I used to be really, really Chinese um, educated. My family is very Chinese. I speak Chinese. I listen to Chinese songs. Only in secondary school, you know, some of my friends uh, recommended me some Western songs, English songs, you know, from the top hits from Night 7. And then um, I, I remember very clearly back then, this was uh, Stick With You, was one of the songs that I really like. Um, that I really like from uh, the Pussycat Dolls. And I you know it was a top hit. So because of the Nathan Hatono um, Instagram uh, video, I went on like a crazy trip down memory lane. So I've been listening to Stick With You non-stop on my Spotify and I even went to look at YouTube video <laughs> for it. 
So aside from Stick With You, I really really like the song. Um, I have also been listening to another song that is also during the same period of time. I don't know whether you can hear it. It's called T-Shirt by Sean Pell. Yeah, so, oops, so basically, um, these are the two songs that I've been listening a lot, um, recently, and, um, it's really a trip down memory lane that that you know it took me down to my younger days. But aside from that, you know, I'm a very um, top hundred hit person. I like R and B. I like I like hip hop songs. I yeah. So um, the two other songs that I've been listening a lot is number one is um, Location by Khalid. Let me just say it for you. Send me a location, let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Send me a location and uh, Yeah, so that is basically one of the songs that I like And um, another song is Desper Tito um, Yeah, let me just leave you Okay, let me just play the chorus, okay? Uh... I don't know how to sing, but I like this song. Yeah, so that's for my music favourite. Um, I'm a very, can you tell I like pop songs? Yeah, that is the end of my favorites. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, you know, if you like it, please uh, you know stay tuned for more. Um, I'm not sure whether there'll be another video. We shall see. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope I did okay. Um, if not, you can leave me some you know, suggestions on what you like to see next or what should I improve on. Um, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.